Welcome back. As the new surge of respiratory viruses surge nationwide, major hospital systems across the country are dealing with severe overcrowding. Alexandria Hoff has more on this health alert for us. As the so-called triple-demic of flu, COVID, and RSV grinds on, major hospital systems across the country are sounding the alarm, saying the combination of respiratory viruses is causing severe overcrowding, leading to dangerous conditions. New York and Los Angeles have already reinstated mask mandates inside hospitals. And in Boston, Massachusetts General announced Friday it's been operating under what it calls a capacity disaster, meaning the emergency department is full and dozens of patients are waiting for beds. They'll leave you in the hallway and attend to you in the hallway with a curtain. It's, it's awful. I don't know what this world's coming to. I really don't. But the White House says it doesn't think this current surge will result in a new outbreak, pointing out hospitalizations are a lagging indicator. And new CDC data shows only 24 states are now experiencing high or very high levels of respiratory illness. That's down from 37 in the first week of January. But vaccination rates remain low. Only 11 percent of children have gotten the most recent COVID COVID shot and 21% of seniors rolled up their sleeves for the RSV vaccine, meaning those two groups are still vulnerable to serious infections. It's um, a very difficult situation, but I think for parents um, to monitor their symptoms of their children, if possible, to keep them at home away from other children to stop the spread of these respiratory viruses. The CDC also says the percentage of positive tests for COVID and RSV decreased last week, while positive flu tests remain stable. In Washington, Alexandria Hoff, Fox News.